Hi, Scorpio. This is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. This is your June, July, and August reading for um, Scorpio Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Sorry, I'm trying to get my microphone set. Um, if they don't, you can always check your other signs to see if you can get more clarity on the situation. If you would like to get a personal reading from me, simply go to the description box below and you can just click on one of the PayPal links or visit my website, moonpytarot.com. Or if you have the iPhone, you can download the iPhone app, or um, the Instant Go app from your iPhone app store. That link is down there also. And you can call, chat, text me there if you have some questions you wanna ask regarding certain situations. Um, I'm also going to be uploading some videos that you can purchase um, that I will not be uploading for YouTube. These are strictly for my Instant Go profile and clients and new users, okay? And they'll be inexpensive, so don't worry. I'm not ripping people off. It's not my thing. All right, so I'm going to pull um, a card for your overall energy from the Romance Angels Oracle deck to see what advice or messages need to come through for you for the month of June, July, and August. What are the messages for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus? Oh, past life relationship. So you have known each other before. Who got this card? I think Virgo. So this card basically is, it's saying that there's a person in your life, friend, lover, family member, whoever, that you are deeply connected to. Okay. Um, there's some thing about this relationship or this connection that cannot be denied. No matter what goes on with this relationship, it's just this feeling of knowing each other so well, it's almost as if you can read each other's thoughts, feel each other's feelings, know each other's next steps, next moves. It's like you've been through this before with a person, a particular person, you know, and it's like a feeling that that's felt internally by both. Okay. Or at least for you, Scorpio, when you think of this person, it's kind of like, it, it tugs on your heart or your soul a little bit. All right, let's let's just have a look at this spread here and see what your messages are. So for June, I get a sense that you're waiting for something. You're waiting for messages, the Eight of Wands. So but we'll start here with the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands is someone who's lying in wait. Look, the light, they're holding up like this beacon of light waiting for someone to come. It's kind of like when you're at home and you leave your porch light on because you're waiting for someone to appear or someone to show up. So someone could be at a distance from you that you are waiting for them to come by your way, uh, either physically or, you know, with the eight of wands, the eight of wands is always about messages. So some of you are waiting to hear from someone, text messages, um, news about travel. And it's almost like you will get them. I feel like you will get some type of, you will get some type of messages from someone. They'll be fast too, like swift, like, unexpectedly in some sense, not when you were expecting maybe to ever hear from someone again, if you have uh, a situation where you're no longer with a person or a friend or a family member, you may be or have been waiting to hear from them again, to some degree. Now, the two of pentacles, I feel like you have someone who is having to make a choice about something or make a decision because the two of pentacles can always talk about that. Just like the two of swords, a decision that needs to be made. So it could be someone needs to make, maybe you have someone in your life that needs to make a decision between you and another person. And you're maybe you're waiting to hear back from that person about that. 
uh, or someone who has to choose between two or more possibilities. Okay, but this person, I feel like, <clears throat> excuse me, a message will, messages will come in from them that they are undecided. Um, they don't really, I feel like this person doesn't really stick with, with things. They're, they're kind of, they like bounce back and forth a little bit. Like they're one minute, they're sure the next minute, they're not sure They're kind of like back and forth a lot in your life in and out, so to speak. And, um, and that's not really a big deal if there's no reason to really make a decision about something or if they don't feel like they have enough information to make a responsible decision. But it's, it's a negative in the sense if you're suffering because of it or if the person, it's negative if this person is just trying to evade having to make a decision. So. I, I do feel like you're either you're going to get messages from someone that they are undecided about something still or currently someone that you are currently with, or you're waiting to hear about a decision. You're waiting to hear if they make a decision, if they've made a decision about either whatever, whatever is on the table. Okay. Now going into July, it's, it's interesting. You've got the three of swords and then you have the lovers. So I feel like this three of swords is connected to this three of wands in this situation up here. There was some kind of, you know, heartbreak. And that's what this possible decision has to do with. Um, maybe there was a third party involved or maybe it's you and this person's work, right? And they just couldn't do anything with you because of work.